Good evening there, everybody. Uh, what is happening? Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful day today. So, I thought that I would give my little review on this fight that happened yesterday, the Jerron Boots and this fight versus Sergey Lipinets. Now, I should disclaim this. I was not able to watch the full fight uh, completely, but I did watch these little highlights, and I did watch full live reactions. I watched a full live reaction on, uh, uh, what's that one channel's name? Uh, Boxing Wave. Boxing Wave is actually probably... My favorite boxing channel to watch out there. I would say that you guys should go ahead and check this channel out if you guys haven't. Uh, but anyway, from what I heard, Jerome Boutsenis was using his jab very early on. You know, kind of feeling him out a little bit in the first couple of rounds. You know, going to the body a little bit. But from what I see from these highlights, man, <laughs> and I pretty much heard this anyway, but Jerome Boutsenis was completely whooping this dude's ass. Uh, from what I see, Jerome Boutsenis, and I did watch these, you know, little couple minute highlights. Uh, so I've seen, you know, a little bit of what happened. It's not the full thing, but uh, from what I see, man, Jerome Boutsenis, uh, he is a very dangerous fighter. Uh, he seems to have very good power. He seems to have very decent speed. He seems to be an all-around great athlete, uh, you know, so he's a very dangerous fighter. Now, Sergey Lipinitz, I never counted him as an A-grade fighter, and I don't think a lot of other people you know, did either, but, you know, when it comes up to, <coughs> excuse me, his first step up in class competition, uh, this is a pretty impressive performance, I mean, he stopped him in what, the sixth round, uh, this fight didn't even go past the sixth round, so, <laughs> I believe that, so, uh, yeah, man, uh, really impressive performance, the only fault I can really say with Jerome Boutsenis, and a certain amount of people brought this up yesterday, too, was that he does seem a little bit hittable sometimes on the inside. And I did notice that uh, sometimes Sergey Lipinis was landing some very big shots on the inside to Jerron, you know, and it's his credit. Uh, is it Jerron? Jerron? I'm, I'm not sure. I say Jerron, but <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Uh, in anyways, to Ennis's credit, to Boots's credit, uh, he did take those shots fairly well, but you don't want to be doing that in the future because you're in a division where you have Terrence Crawford in your division. You have, uh, what's his name, Earl Spence Jr. in the division. You have Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, if he decides to come back, uh, you know, because I hear that he's going up to 154 pounds. Uh, you know, it's uh, that's tough, man. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so I think that he needs to improve on that a little bit, improve his defense on the inside, or maybe not be so, you know, focused on the knockout to the point to where he has lapses in his defense. So he'll need to watch out for that. But when it comes down to it, overall, do I give this an A-grade performance? I do give this an A-grade performance. I thought that he was very impressive. Jerome Boots Ennis, when it comes down to it, uh, he probably is the best up-and-coming welterweight that I see. And Conor Ben had a very impressive performance yesterday. Uh, you know, I know Tim Sue is out there, although I've never really been overtly impressed with him. Uh, and there's a couple of others. Apparently, there's this Lithuanian... What's away coming up? He just beat Thomas Delorme yesterday. I'd have to see that one. I also missed that one. But beating Thomas Delorme isn't a bad win. It's probably like a B-class win. So that's certainly not bad. Uh, but when it comes down to it, uh, yeah, there's all these up-and-coming welterweights out of the woodwork. And uh, Virgil Ortiz, I forgot about Virgil Ortiz. Uh, yeah, Jerome Boots man, he might be the best fighter out of all of them when it comes down to it. I do believe that one day he is going to make it into the top 10 very shortly. In fact, uh, who do I think that he should fight next? Uh, that's a tough call. Um, I don't really know, but when it comes down to it, uh, this one might've even put him in the top 10 because Sergey Lippin, it's not too long ago, was in the top 10, but I'm, I'm not, I, I don't think he is anymore, but this one probably, if I had to guess, won't put him in the top 10, but when it comes down to it, who do I think he should fight next? A Virgil Ortiz fight would be amazing. That would be an excellent fight. I would personally love to see that fight. Uh, if that fight were to happen, I might even act actually have to bet on Jerron Boots Ennis. I forgot about Boots for a little bit, and I said that Virgil Ortiz was the best up-and-coming one to wait. It might be Boots Ennis. Virgil Ortiz and Boots Ennis, though, that's a great fight. And he would have to watch out in that fight because Virgil Ortiz has excellent power. He has excellent power. He can hurt you, and Jerome Boutenis would have to watch out. He can't just 100% go for the knockout. And he'd also have to be careful. He'd have to be crafty in that fight because Virgil Ortiz has got a lot of skill. Uh, he's got a lot of skill. He's an excellent inside fighter. He can cut off the ring extremely well, decently powerful. But, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much my opinion. 
on the Jerron Boots Ennis and Sergey Lipinets fight. From what I've seen, he pretty much whooped this dude's ass. <laughs> Very impressive performance. Uh, I believe they stopped it in the sixth round. Very impressive performance by the guy. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what he does. What do I think his potential is going to be? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think that he certainly is going to become one of the top contenders, at least on the Sean Porter and Keith Thurman level. Uh, and not too long after this, if he beats Virgil Ortiz or a couple of those other high contenders, I wouldn't mind seeing him in fights like that. But when it comes down to it, uh, I don't know. It's hard to see someone beating a Crawford or a uh, Spence or maybe even a Manny Pacquiao at this point in time. But uh, Boots is special. I'll tell you that much. So who knows? Maybe later on he pro possibly could defeat one of those guys. We'll have to see. But that's really about it for my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought on the fight. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. And I will talk to you all later.